Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Project Tips and Tricks. The first one I'm going to show you is how to use the Paste Special feature. First of all, I'm going to copy this data in my table part of the Gantt chart, just using Control C. I want to copy and use the Paste Special feature into an Excel file. So I'm clicking into an Excel file that I've got. Now if I paste that normally, you just get the, the data and you can edit that data so sometimes that's what people want but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to undo that Control Z for undo I'm going to use the paste special feature and paste link is the key to this these are just different formats but I'm going to pick that click OK to that so I get the data which I can't edit because it's an image but it's a live image and I've also got the Gantt chart as well now just to prove this to you, I'm going to go back into project and change that task three to not complete. So that tick will remove. Put it to zero. Ticks removed. Back into Excel. Ticks removed. OK, so that is a live link. If I'll just go back into project. So Pay Special is a Windows feature, so you can do it into lots of different programs. It doesn't always work, depending on what the program is, but it is a great feature. And you can also do it into Project as well. So I just want to show you that. Get a new file. Call it Master. And then I'm going to get two subfiles: new, Project A, and Project B. So Project A will have two tasks, Task A and Task B. Both of those are going to be indented. And I'll give it 10 and 20 duration. Get one to follow the other one. So this project is 30 days. That is the automatically scheduled task. So that is going to pick up the durations underneath, the summary of the durations underneath. New project. This is going to be project B. Task A. Task B. Again, do the same thing. Indent. Give them some durations, 25, 55, and link them. So I've got myself two projects. Now I want to bring those into the, the summary tasks into the master file. So highlighting the top one. In fact, I'll do project A first, so it's in order. Project A, highlight, copy. Go back to the master file down the bottom there. Highlight the row. Paste, paste special, paste link. Remember, that's the key part. OK. And then do the same for project B. It's project A, project B. Highlight, it's highlighted already. I'll just do it again for you. Highlight, copy, go back to the master file, highlight the row, paste special paste link OK and then I'm going to indent these two so I've got a, an 80 day overall total but if any of these projects change so if I go into any one of these project A change that to 100 days for example that's now 110 days altogether if I come back into the master file that's picked it up now because these are both starting at the same time it's just giving you the same total. So that is one way of doing it. Now I'm just going to close all those down without saving them. And get myself a new one. Now, another way of doing it would be this. If I type master, give myself a, a space. To use the project tab, and sub project and bring the whole project in to a master file like this so i'm going to bring this one in and then i'm going to get a space bring another one in machine build now if i indent these two i should get a master duration now if i open it each of these you can see all the tasks within each of these projects and 
if I want to link between projects, so I want to say this one, um, this second project follows that first one, I can do this. So I'm holding my control key down. So I've highlighted those two tasks and I'm clicking the chain link. And it puts the file path in the predecessor's column. Just widen that up. So it's, that could be quite a long path, uh, but it's following task 14 of that project. So that's another way of doing it. It's totally up to you how you want to proceed with that. Now, that is the end of this little module. Thank you for your time.